What is up guys, this is Sean Suplee and in this video we're going to be going over content marketing automation. I went over marketing automation in a previous video and I'll go ahead and include that within the cards here on YouTube in the top right hand side so you can go ahead and reference that anytime you want later on. So in this video I'm going to be going over content marketing automation and what it is. But I'm not going to be diving into how to actually create all that just yet. That'll be in a future video. So be sure to go ahead and like this video, hit subscribe and the notification bell so you know when I go ahead and release that next video. So diving into content marketing automation and what it is, it's pretty much automating the systems within the front end of your funnels or your uh, website. So in, a, in the previous video, I referenced this section of the funnel of how we're automating processes within it. In this video, we're going to be going over how to automate the processes here for uh, creating the content. So you probably heard Gary Vee before say, uh, I would say a couple months ago, it was 30 to 60 pieces of content. Just uh, recently, since it seems like a lot of people are doing this, it's now bumped up to a hundred plus pieces of content. And really, you can never have too much content, although you want that content to be of good quality. You don't want to be pushing out a bunch of crap. It's going to actually uh, hurt you. So make sure, even though you are creating all of this content, that it does provide value, it does provide engagement, and it does provide uh, information to people that are going to find it helpful because it is going to have your brand on it and it is going to be pushing traffic to your brand and to your website. So for the content automation part of this, uh, what some of the tools that I use are Tailwind. So Tailwind will take care of Pinterest as well as Instagram posting. And this is a verified program from Facebook that you are allowed to use this. If you look under the developer tools for Facebook, you'll see that it is included as the API for uh, this. If your program that you're currently using is not under the developer tools for Facebook, I would recommend not using it. It means that they don't, um, they don't acknowledge it and it could actually hurt your results. If it is underneath there, you're pretty much safe and uh, you won't get hurt by using an automated tool for their services then. For Pinterest and Instagram, I'll use systems such as Canva, and the other one is Crello. Uh, I believe that's how you say it, that's how I'm gonna reference it here. And you'll see within here, we have different uh, sizes that we can use for each of the content systems. So we have Facebook, we have Instagram, uh, we have this one, which is, I believe is mostly in Russia, Twitter, uh, other social networks. So we have Pinterest in here. We have YouTube. Uh, there's just a whole slew of different ones that you can use in here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, these tools are free. However, I would recommend upgrading on these as they do provide you with more images and more flexibility. Uh, Crello is has a really cool tool in it which will allow you to create Instagram stories uh, and their video stories. I believe those have provided the highest value to me for the upgrade cost at the moment and I believe they're something like $120 per year per each one uh, which is pretty small price to pay for all the designs and content that you're going to be getting out of these. And once you do create all that content, uh, we're going to be filtering it into Pinterest as well as Instagram and other systems as well. But since we're just referencing Tailwind in this case, it's just going to be these two. So with Pinterest, the way this works is with a free account, I can go ahead and schedule up to a week of content. With a upgraded account, I believe I can push out three months or even longer, but I usually do two to three months at max because things are going to change in that time frame. Uh, most of the content that I do post on there that's automated will be things that are evergreen, meaning I can post them at any time and nobody's going to notice that. So once I have all of that content uh, then scheduled up, the way this the way Tailwind works is with Pinterest, it's going to automatically just post the content. But with Instagram, it's going to send me a text message of where I just copy the text, uh, hit the image to share it, share it on my Facebook feed, and then paste in the content. And this saves me a ton of time because 
I'm no longer on my phone uploading an image, trying to figure out what hashtags I want to use. All that's done within Tailwind ahead of time, so I don't have to worry about that. So going back to this chart, uh, that takes care of these two. The other processes I'm going to be going over later on about how to create that content quickly. So again, be sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe so you do get a heads up when I do release that video in the upcoming weeks. Uh, so that's pretty much all there is to content marketing automation and what it is. If you do have any questions about this or if you even have suggestions on programs that you use yourself to outsource this type of content creation, go ahead and comment down in the bottom there. And I always write back to everybody, so thank you very much for your time and your comments.